a new study that should inform commercial value chain development of fish malls. A high value byproduct of fish could be validated next month. Produce the guidelines for extraction, trading, and processing of, of fish, of fish more so that it can guide our national institutions in, in, in processing. The, 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 the report from the consultant has been shared with us. We are reviewing it. It is going to be validated at the regional level and then uh, finalized for sharing with the partner states. Since 2015, there is increased export of fish moors out of Uganda, a byproduct which is a dry swim bladder of fish with strong value demand in the Asian market, used mainly in processing medicines and luxurious food. So we are interested in fish because fish, you don't give much. It doesn't want pesticides. It doesn't want herbicides. It is enforcement in the lakes. We think that those of fish fillet and those of fish moors can work together and we make more money. And we will make more money because the fish catch now is bigger. We are no longer getting these small fish. In a soft highlight around the economy, during his televised address last evening, President Yoweri Museveni stated that earnings from export of fish malls could be huge for the country. For us, from the Enuni of the Oneiro patch, we can get 156 billion dollars, more money than all the money Saudi Arabia gets from, from oil. But actors such as the Uganda fish processors and exporters have maintained that a legal framework on trade of fish moles is equally critical. If we can get a proper guideline on that fish moles, the challenge is that we are unable to export fish moles directly to China even today because that channel is not being formalized. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.